In comparison between the positive psychology video and the secret, um, I believe positive psychology is more sound and um, can be backed up more by facts than the secret. Positive psychology talks about how there's 14 treatable conditions that have been identified and two curable. So they're using statistics. They also use a website to back up their theories of happiness and strengths and weaknesses. Um, they also talk about 120 different types of interventions that have been um, combined. And they talk about a lot of testing and how they can be, um, they are randomly assigned, placebo controlled. So they have a lot of um, testing to back up their theory. Um, where the secret is, they don't give any sort of statistics or any other resources to look at. The only thing that they did provide at the end of the video was a website where you can go and purchase their their theory or more a video on it um, on the secret. So although there isn't a lot of testing, it does seem like there is someone making money off of it, which kind of makes you question the um, you know the actual background of the theory. Um, it, it just doesn't leave it to be very credible. Um, on a different note, in work situations, when it gets very stressful, um, there have been times where I've been in a work group that just didn't want to work. Um, they wasted a lot of time. And in those type of situations, it gets me very stressful. And I tend to jump in and try to keep the, keep the group moving forward. I tend to try to jump in and take a little bit more control and get them on the right direction. Um, other times, that's not possible. It may be just I'm overwhelmed with different projects at work. I have way too many things on my plate. Um, and sometimes I may need to just step back, write down everything that I have that needs to be done, um, possibly prioritize them or check them off as I go, which tends to give you a sense of accomplishment and keeps you going, keeps you motivated. Um, other times, I may have had to write down my questions and concerns and go to my supervisor and ask him to help prioritize things or just to reach out and give them, um, give my supervisor a suggestion on, you know, maybe I alter my schedule so I'm working when the building's empty so I can get some things done without interruptions. Um, maybe I take things out of the building and I do a research project out of the building where there's no interruptions. I'm trying to think outside the box, um, ways to get things done and be more productive. Um, without other stressful situations coming into the picture seems to help me a lot. Um, you know, and, and don't forget those afternoon walks. Just getting out of the building and getting some fresh air can really make a world of a difference um, once you get back to your desk to be able to refocus, pick up where you left off, and move forward and finish the task. I hope this has been helpful. Um, I know it has been for me. I have appreciated your time, and thank you again. This is Susan Glover. Thank you.